All right, hey guys, it is it is Chris here again with another video, and in this video today, we have to go over another round of Sears and Kmart closures. Yes, guys, if you thought it couldn't get worse with Sears, well, today, it just has once again. So Sears today, uh, Sears Holdings, has picked a round, an, another round of 40 more stores to close. Now, guys, Sears has closed over 100 stores, to, you know, 50, 40. You know, I think I think they've closed a lot of stores this year, guys. I've even lost count um, of how many stores they've closed. I mean, it's just crazy of how a company can close many stores and, uh, you know, and still survive. And I personally think the reason for it is because Eddie Lampert is basically just trying to suck all the money out of the company. And then he's just basically finding the window to escape. But right now, it wouldn't be best to escape. Um, but I don't know if I don't know if that's true or not. But th I think that's what's happening is he's basically just sucking the money out of the company, and he's just waiting for the right window to just let it all go and just leave and let the whole company go bankrupt and all the stores go out of business. But yes, guys, uh, Sears is closing another 40 uh, Sears and Kmart stores. Um, this round of closures ex is expected to take effect um, in February of 2019. So these stores will be safe for the holiday season. However, they will be closing. Um, in February of 2019 and by then we're probably gonna have another round of store closures by then and I hate to say that but it's true uh, but anyways so yeah Sears is not closing any stores in New Jersey and New York uh, Wes as we've already had we already have a lot of stores currently going out of business in uh, New Jersey uh, we were having um, well not Sears in particular but National Wholesale Liquidators is, is uh, going out of business and we just have a lot of stores that are going out of business. Uh, def oh, and uh, also Sears up at the shops at Nanuet is running its liquidation sales. And the Sears out in Garden City uh, near the Roosevelt Field Mall is also uh, running its liquidation sales as well. So anyways, we're going to take a look at this Sears and Roebuck store located at the Stroud Mall in um, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, a.k.a. Arlington Heights. Um, so we're going to take a look. This is actually a very interesting store, believe it or not. Uh, I don't know why this this thing tends to get frozen sometimes. So just give me a minute here. Okay, there we go. Um, what's interesting about this mall itself is this mall is all one floor, and Sears is actually the only store with an elevator. It's very it's a very interesting uh, layout. Like I said, I've never been to this mall. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out here. Probably not. You know, to drive an hour and a half just to ride a Montgomery Kone to me is not worth it unless I have like family out here or I have a pretty good damn reason to go out here. Um, but yes, you guys can see, we're going to actually go ahead and give you guys a, a couple of views of the store. This, I, I'm not sure how the angles are going to do, but I'm going to try, I'm going to, I am going to try my best here with, uh, angles. I think this is going to be the closest that we're going to get to seeing. Let me see, we can, maybe we can flip around here. I want to make sure you guys get a, get a, get a decent perspective view of the store. Oh, no, okay, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to have to get as close as we can possible um, because I believe that's going to be the only way that this is going to work. So uh, right here, uh, sorry about that, and right here is what I would consider to be um, the south. I'm going to have to go with the south, south east, southeast entrance of the store. So we'll give you just a few minutes here to admire this lovely, lovely architecture, by the way. Alrighty, moving on here. By the way, there's a little parking deck out here, too. It's just very interesting of how this store is built. Let me give you guys just a few seconds here to admire this uh, white sear sign. All right, and moving on here, we're going to go around here. Uh, this is right over here. This is the uh, auto center. I'm actually going to go ahead and go back a little bit here so you guys can see that nice and clear. So we, we'll give you just guy. We'll give you guys just a few seconds here uh, to admire this, and also that little Sears truck as well. Give you just a few seconds here to admire all this uh, beauty.
Alrighty, moving on here. By the way, is over here we have a uh, Sears truck and a Sears van, and I believe that they have this Sears truck um, at the at the Paramus Park Mall. My my friend Ian actually went this the, the on a Sunday because we have these things in Bergen County called uh, Bergen County Blue Laws, which basically prohibits uh, any type of store from opening opening up on a Sunday. So he basically went uh, the next day after the Sears store closed, and he saw a lot of cool stuff. I I really wish I went with him. Uh, but I guess I probably was doing something else that day. But like I said, I think it was pretty cool that he went up there to see the abandoned store itself. So we're going to give you guys just a few seconds here to admire this truck and, of course, the uh, Chevy Express van. Sorry about that, guys. I had an interruption there. So we're going to just go ahead and just finish this up really quickly here. Okay, you got you got you guys pretty much get the idea. Oh yes, of course, and this and of course the main entrance, the lip for what I would like to call the uh, the 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 Sears Auto Center. So we'll give you guys just a few seconds here to admire that. Definitely. All right. By the way, so that's a water tower over there. Um, and this, I believe, is going to go into the parking deck. Uh, this, I believe, is the loading dock for the store. All right, moving on. Interesting, inter interestingly enough, uh, for this parking deck, there actually is no elevator in this parking deck. Surprising, surprising. This parking deck was probably built when ADA compliance wasn't a thing just yet, but they probably were going to put an elevator in. Who knows? And this is actually kind of cool, too, this bridge that connects uh, Sears and the parking deck. This is kind of rare to see. Oh, here's another entrance, by the way, so I'll give you just a few seconds here to admire that. I like how that family was trying to pose for that like picture. That's pretty cool too. I'm gonna see if we can get you to the top here, but I'll give you just a few seconds to admire this. All right, let me see. I might be able to get you guys to the top of the store. I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I don't think. Wait, actually, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna try. I don't think. I don't think I can though. Yeah, no, I, I won't be able to, guys. Sorry about that. Thought I was able to, but I guess not. Anyways, guys, uh, we'll give you just a few more seconds here just to admire this. You guys can see the sear sign a little bit better here. All right, so guys, there you have it. Uh, yes, Sears is closing 40 more stores, including this one in the Stroudsburg Mall. I would go over the other locations, but um, I'm only going over this one. There's a Kmart that's closing, and uh, I don't want to go over the other locations. I just want to go over this location specifically, considering of how close it is to New Jersey. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, that's it.